<clears throat> There's so many different companies you could start your investment accounts with today. You got Robinhood, Webull, TD Ameritrade, Merrill Lynch, and Chase Invest. You get the point, right? But out of all these companies, I believe Charles Schwab is the best. And as proof, I use Charles Schwab as my brokerage account as well. And today we're gonna to cover the top three reasons why I love using my Charles Schwab account. And if personal finance and money is something you're interested in, help me help you by pushing that subscribe button and help you help me by pushing that like button. <laughs> Anyways, so the first reason why Charles Schwab outshines the other companies is the research tool it offers. Charles Schwab basically offers their own report cards of not all, but most companies. So let's hop over to the monitor so you guys could actually see the Charles Schwab portal and what I'm talking about. So this is what the research tab looks like. And as you can see, we click the research tab and the first thing you're gonna see is the US markets. And it's going to give you top headlines, most popular, and my safe stories. This is a feature I really like to use in the mornings when I'm just trying to get up to date on everything. It'll just give you the top headlines. And for most popular, I really like the top keyword searches. I'm surprised Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is not on here. But you, we can see that GE, gold, uh, crude oil, all because we're expecting inflation to rise up. We can see that that is uh, the top keyword searches for now. You can also look at some international markets. I know many investment accounts actually have this feature. Even Webull, you can, they have like a pr pretty cool glow function where you can see the S&P for the United Kingdom, the S&P for Japan and Hong Kong. Um, so this isn't too special. If you scroll down, you get a list of more countries. But what I do like most about this research, which I'm getting to right now, is the market insight and the reports Charles Schwab offers. So for the reports, you have five companies providing independent research on what they believe the overall market is looking like. Um, so you have Morningstar, Argus, NDR, Market Edge, and Credit. I'm not gonna go ahead and read through this every day, but every week or so, I will go through and kind of read the summary notes. And this isn't like a long 10 page report. It just gives you the key points this is the information technology se sector highlights. And it's very simple to read, very easy read, and very quick read, actually. And, you know, it gives you the pros and cons if you just want to see the quick takeaways there. That was for the overall market trends analysis. But Schwab also offers more research tools for individual stocks. You could screen for stocks, meaning it's basically if you guys have ever used a cars.com or auto trader or even online shopping when you have certain criterias like price or discount or sale basically screening for stocks allows you to set a filter and find those stocks that you're looking for i, I really like this overview function and some of the key things i really like is analyze out analyzing stocks that are outperformers uh, viewing a rate of stocks by Schwab, as well as this is often sometimes interesting exploring global companies that are a rated by Charles Schwab. So let's just let's just see what type of research is provided for a stock like Apple. We can see we can see that it has a Schwab equity rating of an A, which is the highest as of January 8th, 2021. And if we go to reports, this is really where it's gonna stand out. We can see all the resources we have to see the research on this single stock. We have Charles Schwab, Morningstar, Argus, NDR, CFRA, Reuters, and Vickers, as well as these two other additional reports on the side. And if we take a look at the equities ratings report, it's kind of like a report card that Charles Schwab puts together. And yes, you might be able to find this information online if you do a little independent research on your own, but the fact that it's presented in a way that's easier to read and doesn't require any more work on my side is something I really like. It gives you most information you'll really need to know about the stock. It, it breaks down the equity rating, um, what, in, what an A means really, and the price volatility, the growth grade, quality grade, the volume and history of the stock, as well as some earnings per share, revenue, and the annual earnings report. It's about three to four pages long, usually per stock. This is like probably one of my favorite tools through the research tab. The second reason is the mobile access you get. The Charles Schwab mobile trading app is a great tool to use and helps you manage your account on the go. This is the homepage through the mobile app. And if you just click on this side tab, 
It's a pretty simple interface to use. You have tile view, positions, income, and you can even trade a stock through your phone. And let's just say I want to purchase some Tesla stocks. We're going to look up Tesla. And we can see it's as simple as clicking buy. And then review order. And then place order. I'm not going to place it because I don't have $800 to spend on Tesla. But that's, that's basically how easy this mobile app is to use over the phone. The last and final reason why I love Charles Schwab is the ability to use multiple platforms. So to make this simple, if you create a Charles Schwab account, you have a Schwab account where you can do your basic investment options. However, with Street Smart Edge, it's basically another platform that is offered for more advanced investors and you get features such as chart tools and the ability to trade multiple securities in the same order. And the third platform is Street Smart Central. With this platform, you're gonna be able to take advantage of options trading. If this sounded confusing, pretty much the takeaway is that when you become more invested in your investing journey and want to try more advanced trading techniques, Charles Schwab has the platforms and tools to help you do it easier. And for those who aren't there yet and are still beginners and just starting off with investing, say you wanna purchase a Amazon share, which costs like $3,000 now. You might not wanna just go and spend 3,000 if it's your first time investing. And that's why Charles Schwab has a stock slice feature for beginners. So if I wanted to purchase only 10% of Amazon, I could still own a part of a share of Amazon by just paying $300. These are the top three reasons why I invest with Charles Schwab. And if you want to get started too, if you could use the referral link in the description, we'll both earn a welcome bonus with a minimum qualifying deposit of $1,000. That's all I got for today's video. And I hope this video helped you decide which investment account you want to go ahead and open. I know when I was trying to decide, I was watching a bunch of comparison videos. Rather than doing a comparison video, I, I feel like it's easier for you to decide if I just give you the top three reasons why I love Charles Schwab, and hopefully that can help you in your decision making. That's all I got for today's video, and as always, peace.